Welcome back guys, it's Carter. It's Tucker. And we're here with Chef Cameron. Yes. And we're here at the Four Seasons Hotel. And we in Guila. And we are all going to learn how to make Johnny Cakes. Johnny Cakes. Johnny Cakes. Woo. Okay, so one question. Uh -huh. What is Johnny Okay, Johnny Cake is a renowned name from ancient time. That she used to call it Journey Cake. But the name breakdown and everybody have a different name to call it, so they call it Johnny Cake. But the real original name for it is Journey Cake. The Johnny Cake originally got its name from our forebearers who would travel long distances to different Caribbean islands to look for work and to do work. So they would be on sea for days at a time and looking for something that would last over the period of time for them to eat. Flour was something that could last for several days and still be edible. So they would make flour, which they called Johnny Cakes for the long journey because it would last over a number of days with them. So they would take Johnny Cakes from home and it would last them until they reached their next destination. Then they would get more and bring home with them to take them home. So they would have something to eat. So that's where it got its name, Johnny Cake. Yeah, start making some Johnny Cakes. <laughs> so what do we do first? First. Okay, so we're putting some oil. So we're putting in some oil into this pot. Give it time to get hot. So when your Johnny cake is complete. What type of oil? This is a vegetable Wait. cooking oil. Okay. Now let's make some Johnny cakes. <laughs> okay, let's go for it. Now what we have here for Johnny cake, we have bread flour, which contain gluten. We have butter, unsalted butter. We have some sugar salt, sugar, baking powder, and milk. The butter, the butter, the sugar, and the salt, everything give a specific purpose inside the dough. The sugar is to give it some flavor. The salt is to help balance it. The baking powder is a rising agent. No, the, the, butter, the purpose for the butter is to make the dough more mild and help the gluten to expand. Can I have some more butter please? The milk also can just give it color and flavor. Can I have some more sugar? Just to give it a little bit more flavor. Just keep on mixing. Just keep on kneeling. I put I put a lot of sugar in this. Yeah. You want to kneel it until it gets very smooth. Look at my mom. She's not even paying attention. Let me assist you. This is the way to do it. Just get Chef Cameron to do it. <laughs> Since you're, you're Look how the... Look my Johnny Cake doors. <laughs> you it. You want it to be perfect. Spin it and pull it in so that you get it. So you're pulling it and pushing it? Is yes. that your technique? Yes. Do you have a name for this? The push and pull? Uh, I would call it kneeling. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> What do you like to cook when you're at home? Just relaxing. Uh, basically, um, I like to do my my curry goat or some hot steel. Sometimes I like to do some steamed fish. Delicious. Yeah. Oxtail. Oxtail. No, feel the texture of your dough. Looking good, Chef. Pat. All right. Oh, this is nice. Just continue to do the same thing. Perfect. It feels lighter than it, yeah. it is. Yeah. Okay. You get in there. That's the thing about the flour. You have to keep on kneeling for it to really come to perfection. Flour and water is all you need to make sourdough bread. Huh? Sourdough bread. You should watch my video on that. Uh, the two woodies, T H E, 
number two, W O O T I E S. Uh huh. No spaces in between. Look at my YouTube channel and look at my Sado videos. Okay. And you guys viewing this, also look at that video. <laughs> okay. How does it feel now? How does it feel? Um, it feels pretty good, actually. Okay. Not no, when when you do reach to that perfection, like those two down there, you're gonna leave it there and let it sit for a while. You call it resting. The dough is resting. So the, the, the right agent in the making dough. How long do I? How long do it need to rest? Uh, basically, sometimes it takes you like a hour to get a good perfection of the dough. Help me. A half an hour, a hour. Hey, uh, Chef Cameron. Yes. Um, how many Johnny cakes does this make? Okay, you could get probably about three to four. Oh, nice. So for you, we have the recipe cards three. that you can take back home with you with all the measurements, the ingredients, and everything. And here is the Johnny Cake recipe. To get it, to get it faster, you cover it with a dump cloth so that it, it, it doesn't form a crust outside. And then it dries more faster. But this is more like a demonstration. So what I actually do, I have some dough already done make up already for the Johnny cake right because the process for this to poof and then after you cut it out in portion and roll it and then put it to raise it to relax again you're gonna run up into time yeah so I'm just cutting it short so you can understand the, the dynamics of how it's set up um, so basically that's that's one of the process for for the Johnny cake. Now after a while we're gonna take a portion of it and roll it up. It's gonna be like this. And this is the one with the gluten. If you feel the texture of it, Oh my! It's flat. It's always flat. It's more soft right? because the, the baking powder is active in it, so it's great. So like this now, when we put it into the pad, you're gonna know like like a, a donut. Your, your dough, and it, you can tell that the baking powder is active in it. Don't you see much fluffy, more soft. You nail it, and then you're gonna use this finger to fold it in your palm. And this one gonna keep it together. So this finger, so keep on rolling, like twisting it. This finger, you keep on folding it. Let's go. Okay, so. You just be gentle and just take your time, roll it. Take this apart. Huh? Take this apart. Yeah, you can take off piece. So, take a piece. Each one take a piece. Like that small? Uh, a, a little bit more. According to the size of your hand, you just take to the portion. Now, look at, look at me again. My hand is like this. Down. Put my fingers together. And I'm going to roll. I use my, my thumb and my other fingers to keep it together. It's almost like you're folding it. You're right. You may not be able to catch it one time, but practicing. Okay, I'm on. I'm on. 
if you can't get it done that way, you could do it. Just like how I, I did it earlier on, just keep on folding it in your hand. <laughs> just like that, turn it over, and then you press it with your fingers. Just like that until I get it flat. Good to go. Let me introduce you to my Johnny cakes. So this is, these are the regular Johnny so cakes. As um, and this one is the baby Johnny cake. Look how small and cute it is. Did you put any effort in that? Yeah, I did. And this is a square um, Johnny cake. And I'm going to call him Steve. If any of you know what Minecraft is, then Minecraft. you'll know who he is. What temperature? About like 300 to 350. And how long do you put it in there before you turn it over? For about like, say, two weeks at each side. Or minute and a half on side. Start to move around. Yes. Okay. Just simply flip it over. So the color. Oh, it's nice color. Yeah. Yes. So now you can ask to do it. How many? Oh, you could put probably about two at a time. And do I just slide them down the side so yeah. I don't smudge myself? Okay. okay. My hand is blue free. It is, I appreciate it. <laughs> oh, just like that, yeah. Okay, you can put more. We were eating codfish and Johnny cake. And look, I've added a little goatee to my Steve guy. Look at that goatee. Codfish is a processed fish that they pawn with, with um, salt and they let it stay and dry. And then now for you to prepare it, you have to soak it in water. And after you soak it in water, then you boil the salt out of it again. And then you break it up, like you do in a pool pork or what have you. And then you get your vegetable, peppers, onion, salt, black pepper. Put a little hot spice in it. Just to give it a kick. Basically, that's what they call salt fish or pot fish. Which in the Caribbean they make songs from it also. In Trinidad they call it bacalao. Look, these are my Johnny cakes. Okay.